Welcome to Big Fix Inventory and Noises Metric Tool videos. In this video, you'll learn how to create a successful audit snapshot. The audit snapshot is a record of noises metric utilization in your enterprise over a period of time. It should be created at least once per quarter and stored for two years. Complete the following six steps to create a snapshot of good quality. Step 1. Configure scans and uploads of their results. If you installed License Metric Tool by using the all-in-one installer or you enabled the default scan schedule, all actions required to run software and capacity scans were triggered automatically. Otherwise, you should trigger them manually. To do this, log in to the BigFix console and activate three analyses installed Unix packages, installed Windows applications, and software scan status. Then, run the following four fixlets on all computers. Install or upgrade scanner, initiate software scan, upload software scan results, and finally, run capacity scan and upload results. Once you run these fixlets, scans are initiated and uploads of their results to the BigFix server are scheduled. Results of the software scan are uploaded whenever new software is discovered. Results of the capacity scan are uploaded when they change in comparison to the results of the previous scan. The collected data is uploaded from the BigFix server to license metric tool during the import. Step 2. Configure connections to VM managers. Based on the data that is collected during the capacity scan, Loises Metric Tool can evaluate capacity of virtual machines. However, to accurately calculate subcapacity consumption, it also needs information about physical hosts on which these VMs are running. In case of VMware Hyper-V and KVM, the data can be collected only from the hypervisor. That's why you should configure connections to VM managers. If you don't configure these connections, Default PVU counting is applied on virtual machines, which might lead to overcounting utilization of PVU. To configure connections to VM managers, log in to License Metric Tool and go to the VM Managers panel. Click New. Specify connection details and click Create. Data from VM managers is uploaded to the BigFix server whenever results differ from the results that were previously collected. The data is then uploaded from the BigFix server to license metric tool during the import. Step 3. Verify that collected data was imported to license metric tool. Once you know that collection of data was initiated, it's time to verify that the collected data was imported to license metric tool. To verify this, go to Management – Data Imports. By default, imports of data run daily at midnight. If you believe that some important data was collected after the last import, you can run the import manually. To do this, simply click Import Now. Step 4. Check the health of your environment. The Overview panel contains three widgets that allow you to check the health of your environment – Deployment Health, Scan Health and IBM Capacity Data Completeness. Each widget shows whether any of the computers in your infrastructure is affected by problems from the particular area. Go through the widgets from left to right and troubleshoot the problems in this order. Such an approach is the most effective as problems with deployment health might trigger problems with scan health and so on. In big environments, it might be hard to ensure that all issues are resolved at the same time. Strive to resolve issues on the majority of computers. Having a few computers with reported issues is not a blocker for generating the audit snapshot. Step 5. Classify your software. After new components are discovered, they are assigned to products based on bundling rules. The initial assignment might not be accurate in all cases. 
It happens because a single component can be a part of multiple products. Noises metric tool is not always capable of predicting which of the possible products was purchased in your enterprise. If the initial assignment does not reflect your license agreements, work with the software inventory. Assign each component to a product according to your license agreements or exclude products from metric calculations if the license allows for that under specific conditions. To work with your software inventory, go to Reports, Software Classification. The report shows discovered components and the products to which they were assigned based on bounding rules. To change the assignment, select the row with the component and hover over the Assigned Components to Product icon. Then, click Choose from Catalog. Start typing the name of the product to which you want to assign the component. Once it appears on the list, choose the entry with the appropriate version and license metric. This will ensure that the product contributes to the utilization of the correct license metric. If the license agreement states that the product should not contribute to the utilization of a license metric under given circumstances, you can exclude such a product. For example, when it's installed on a backup or test computer. To exclude a product, select the row with the product and hover over the Exclude or Suppress icon. Then, click Exclude Product from Metric Calculation. Provide an obligatory comment with the reason of exclusion and click Exclude. Step 6. Verify utilization of license metrics and create the audit snapshot. Once you are confident that your software inventory reflects your license agreements, go to Reports or IBM Metrics and check the utilization of license metrics by particular products. If you are interested only in PVU subcapacity, you can open the IBM PVU subcapacity report instead. To make sure that all changes to software classification are reflected on the report, click Recalculate. The button is active only if there are any changes to be processed. Then, verify the reported values. If they are satisfactory, you're ready to generate the snapshot. To do this, simply click Audit Snapshot. Once the snapshot is generated, store it in a safe place for two years. If you later on change any configuration that might influence the reported values, you can generate another snapshot at any time. You can generate as many snapshots as needed until you produce the one with which you are satisfied. Here's the takeaway. 1. The audit snapshot is a record of license metric utilization in your enterprise over a particular period of time. It should be created at least once per quarter and stored for two years. Two. To generate a successful snapshot, ensure that the license metric tool environment is properly configured. Verify that scans and uploads of the results are scheduled, connections to VM managers are configured, and the imports of data are passing. 3. Once you verify the configuration of your environment, classify your software. Verify whether the default assignment is correct. If not, reassign components to proper products. 4. If your license agreement states that the product instance should not contribute to the utilization of license metrics under given circumstances, exclude product instances that fulfill the requirements. 5. You can generate as many snapshots as needed until you produce the one with which you are satisfied. Thank you for watching.